let's go into a nose down attitude. The make us go into a spin. Holy shit. And as you see. So as you may have seen in the last One Star Reviews, I was in Los Angeles. Um, things got pretty intense there, to say the least. There was uh, some sort of shooting that took place here. Mm-hmm. Bad guys leaving body bags. So now I've actually relocated to Canada, no longer in America at all, and uh, not even to be on the ground at all. This time, we're gonna go into the sky, the flying lesson. All right, so I'm actually seeing quite a few so far. And I think it's also worth noting, this is actually my second time attempting this. The first one did not work out so well. Um, we have one concern before we start here, guys, so we just need a minute. But as they say, second time's a charm, so uh, let's uh, fly away. Whoa. All right, well, I've just stumbled upon Canadian Flight Center. These people are the lowest of the low that you will ever meet. They scream at students and instructors in front of anyone and everyone for no reason at all. They blackmail their students into posting positive reviews before tests. Some of the positive reviews on here are from the employees themselves. If you fly with them, you have to pray for your life because the planes are in extremely bad conditions. And that one has 24 likes. I've put my body on the line more times than I can count for this show. But today was different. I was to put my life on the line. To make things even worse, we had just received information that the flying conditions were risky due to poor visibility. But I wasn't going to let that get to me. This is my job, and getting to the bottom of these reviews is my duty. Um, I'm Taji, I'm here for my flying lesson today. Good afternoon, let's do the elbow. Oh, sorry, Salute. I'm Taji, nice to meet you. I forgot. Nice so. to meet you, I'm Pedro. Nice to meet you. Sounds good, why don't you take a seat? Of course. So, uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, will you want to be doing a flying lesson for uh, becoming a private pilot or a commercial pilot. I've never flown before and I'm kind of just interested in trying it out. I would love to just get up in the sky, fly around like this, I guess, just flying around. We have a saying that the sky is the limit, but actually we're going to be flying. So we will be, we put the limits ourselves. So I have entered my signature here. Cool. I will need you to sign where it says pilot. Okay, so. Thank you. You're welcome. It was time for liftoff. I was about to head up to the skies with Pedro, an instructor for a flight school with one of the worst online reputations. I have to say, on our way to the plane, my confidence began to crash with each aircraft wreckage I saw. But Pedro would attempt to put me at ease by taking me through a rigorous safety check before putting me in control of the plane. Fire extinguisher charged and secure. It's charged and secure. Now please open the window and now verbalize. Clear prop. Clear prop? Yeah, but like, you know, say it out loud. Clear prop! They scream at students and instructors in front of anyone and everyone. These people are the lowest of the low that you will ever meet. They blackmail their students into posting positive reviews. If you fly with them, you have to pray for your life. This is a skimmer school. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm a little nervous. 
Bit tower says that one five two goes to Papa Victor and runway one eight, ready for the part, sir. Little Papa Victor tower left turn out proof, clear takeoff, runway one eight. Clear for takeoff, goes to Papa Victor. The runway was clear. There was no turning back. I was to hit the skies with Pedro and take control of the aircraft and get to the bottom of these one star reviews. Are you ready? There. All right. And now gently apply full power with the throttle. Yep. Keep moving it until we have full power all the way in. Perfect. Now look at the very far end of the runway. Keep your hand on the throttle, please. And now we're going to start applying back pressure. There we go. Wow. Okay, you're flying. All right, wow, we made it. So, you have control of the aircraft, and we're going to start a turn to the left. So what I want you to do is to roll the control wheel to the left, and you see how the aircraft moves to the left. And how long have you been working for this particular flight school? So about a year, almost two years. Were you um, flying before that on a professional level? or I was flying for an airline before. So you were flying commercially, and now you're teaching? Yeah. So, have you enjoyed working so far? Oh, I love working. So far, so good. I was in control of the aircraft, and Pedro was being great, but I could not get these reviews off my mind. They scream at students and blackmail their students. The lowest of the low if you fly with them, them, you have to pray for your life. All right, I have control. I have control. Look in front of us, okay? And we're going to a full stall condition, and then apply left rudder. Make us go into a spin. Holy shit. And as you see, the ground is moving, okay? Yeah. So we're fully spin. And now to recover, we apply oh opposite God. rudder and is out of the dive. How did that feel? That was very fun, but I don't know if it's like I ate too much Indian food last night or what's going on, <laughs> but like I feel um, a little bit nauseous. I felt nausea unlike any I had felt before, which did not feel good at all. But regardless, this felt like a very good time to bring up the business's one-star reviews. But yeah, I mean, for example, even before I came in, like, I checked out some of the reviews before. Uh -huh. And, you know, I noticed, you know, there were quite a few one-stars. I was wondering if, you know, maybe you could even kind of address a couple of them. Don't believe the positive reviews on here. They blackmail their students into posting positive reviews before tests. Some of the positive reviews on here are from the employees themselves. Unethical practices with no regard to student safety. Now uh, that's a... That's a, a serious review that should be addressed. But in your time flying with the school, have you come across anything like that? I have heard about bad reviews from the past, but never while I was working for them. Well, what do you think of a review like that? It's a pre-landing check. I mean, someone even mentioned, like, old aircrafts. But from what I'm seeing, it's... Uh, it's interesting because I don't think you will find aircraft equipped like this in any other flight school in the Vancouver area. Yeah, I mean, this seems like a pretty nice plane. Uh, why do you think someone would write something like that? I don't know. And we're going to start the send -in. So the Papa Victor is on right now for a full stop. So Papa Victor Tower, clear to land runway money. Clear to land runway money. So the Papa Victor. We can start moving the throttle back. Move okay. the throttle back all the way out. Okay, all the way out? Yeah. Keep your hand on the, on the, on the control. And we're, lo we're looking at the very far end of the runway. All the way to the far end. And we have touched down. Right, well I'm glad we landed because I'm not going to lie, I feel like I could vomit any minute now. Okay. <laughs> but I'll hold it in. I didn't really feel that I had fully gotten to the bottom of the reviews while in the air. But to be fair to Pedro, he had more important things to concentrate on. And I respect that. So now that we were back on the ground, I felt the need to press him a little further. I do believe that each review should be addressed. Um, I haven't particularly checked each one of them, but I know some of them are not uh, positive reviews. 
So, I mean, to your knowledge, the students are pretty happy. They don't feel like they're getting scammed. You know, they're... Absolutely. That, that is mine. That is what I believe it, it's awesome. happening. That's my knowledge. And they feel pretty safe. Yeah. If you fly with them, you have to pray for your life because the planes are in extremely bad conditions. They are very safe aircraft, very well equipped and very well maintained. So, and that's the main reason, bear in mind that I spend six days a week here. So my message to these people writing those reviews, get in touch with us and try to, we'll try to work things out. I went to Canadian Flight Center with the intention of taking some time off of the land, and that I did. Wow. Okay, you're flying. Before going in, I had read reviews mentioning a lot of yelling and a lack of learning taking place at this school. However, my experience was the complete opposite. No yelling and all learning. Now show me a bank attitude to the left. Very nice. There are also reviews that had me concerned for my safety, mentioning planes in extremely bad condition. Yes, there were a couple out of commission, but the one I flew on was in tip-top shape. Pedro paid very close attention to all safety protocols and talked me through every step of the way. I have control. I have control. The flight certainly activated my nerves and nausea, but I came out feeling confident and packed with adrenaline. I guess you could say it was smooth sailing, or as Pedro taught me, smooth flying.